this video, you'll need an elastic band, scissors, and of course, a needle and thread. The first thing I'm going to do is measure my elastic band. The longer the elastic, the um, the less tension. The tighter the the shorter the elastic, the more the tension. I can take a lot of tension, so I normally make my straps short. And now I'm just going to show you how short I'm going to cut the elastic band. I normally do mine shorter because I can take the tension and I like my wigs tight on my head. So now I'm just showing you the inside of the wig and the flaps um, that you want to sew um, your elastic band onto. I didn't sew any weave onto those, so I was good. Now my same method that i use for sewing a wig i'm going to use it to sew the elastic band on i have the inside of the wig facing me um and the hair where I, the part where i sewed the hair on is facing towards the ground so you want to sew going up you want to pull the needle through the net and then through the elastic band to make sure that it's tight and secure and then you want to wrap the needle of course three times around Wrap the thread, of course, three times around the needle to secure that elastic band. And I'm just showing you a small clip of how I sewed the other side, which is the same way I always sew, just like I always sew my weave underneath. And now I'm just tying a knot in the thread to secure that elastic band. And here you will see me trying on the wig and showing you how tight the wig is. Before I didn't add the elastic band, the wig was kind of like moving everywhere. So I'm like, oh my God, I think I need an elastic band. Plus I don't want to wear wig clips because I don't want them sticking me on my braids. So yeah, that's really it. A really quick tutorial on how and where you're supposed to sew an elastic band on for a wig. And I hope this was very informative. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.